But apparently people are, you know, skilled people will be able to come in. So how do you determine who's skilled and who's not? Is there a skills test? No, you just have to earn over £30,000. There's a problem with that because there's a lot of skilled jobs that actually uh, don't have a salary that high. In Kent, where I live, we grow most of the asparagus that you're currently getting from the supermarkets. And we discovered last year and the year before that there's nobody in Britain knows how to pick it. It's a very skilled job. You have to be able to pick it without squashing the rest of the asparagus. I've never tried, so I don't know exactly why it's so difficult, but the migrant workforce that would come over can pick it without squashing it. People in Kent can't, and they've got big feet or something. The other problem with this 30,000 skills threshold is, I don't know, I mean, I don't know what you think of that figure, but certainly in academia, a junior lecturer will start on less than a 30,000 pound salary. Universities always employ people at the bottom and let them work up. It's you know, the way of economics. That means that we can't employ the best people for the job because they'll be um, unskilled or something or earning too much. Anyway, it doesn't work. It doesn't work for a lot of sectors. It's a very difficult way of deciding what's low skilled and high skilled. Kind of offensive as well, really. So it could lead to a shortage of workers in many different sectors. So that's something to think about. 